Do you want to speed up your video editing workflow so you can save time and get out more videos? Well, my name is Phil Ebner and I'm from videoschoolonline.com and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tips and keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. Let's just dive right into it. The first thing you need to know is how you can adjust and see your keyboard shortcuts. Just go up to the Premiere Pro CC menu, go up to keyboard shortcuts, and this is how you can see all of the preset keyboard shortcuts. If you go to the keyboard layout, you can see different ones. And so I started with the Adobe Premiere Pro default. The only thing that I changed was this one called Add Edit. And I'll talk about how you can do that when we get to it. So these are the keyboard shortcuts that I'm always using. And I think you can use to speed up your workflow because the more you use your keyboard, the better and faster you will be as an editor. So first we have rewind, pause and play and also speed up and do like a fast motion fast rewind, fast forward. And that's with the J, K, and L keyboard shortcuts. So just pressing L once will actually just play through, K will pause, and J will rewind. Pressing L, L twice, or even three times, will speed up. And same with J. If you go press J, J, it will speed up, or actually duplicate, or four times your speed. And so that's a quick way to run through interviews and to run through rough cuts or fine cuts or all kinds of videos to quickly be able to edit them. So I use that often when I'm editing interviews or I'm listening to interviews for the first time. Often I can just run through and play it back at twice the speed and edit. Next, we have a couple ripple trim edits, and these are with your W and Q keys. So pay attention to what's happening here on the timeline when I press W or Q. So if I go here in the timeline and press W, what happens is it makes a cut here where the time indicator is, and it moves everything that's on the right of the time indicator to the left so that you don't have to go in, you don't have to cut, click these, drag to the left, Everything happens all in one keyboard shortcut. W, everything is brought over to the left. Now say I'm here and I want to make a cut right here on the left hand side of this clip and then move everything to the left, press the Q button. So see it made that cut and it dragged everything to the left and it moved the playhead to where this cut is. So that's just with W and Q. Now trim edit to playhead is a little bit different and that's with the option key. On a PC that would be the alt key. So if I option W, it clips this one clip and it deletes automatically that part of the clip that I wanted to delete. It's basically the same thing as going here and clicking and dragging to the left. The cool thing though is if we have multiple tr clips, we can go here and say we have a timeline that's set up like this. You got to make sure that your video and all the audio tracks are selected over here on the left hand side for the ones you want to edit. And then if I do option W, everything is trimmed. It's basically the same thing as clicking and dragging over all of your tracks and dragging to the left. But again, make sure that your video and audio tracks are selected over here. For example, if video two wasn't selected and I do press option W, only the clips that are selected will be deleted. And it's basically the same thing, but in the reverse, if I press option Q. But this isn't rippling it, so it does take a little bit longer, and so I highly recommend just the W and Q ripple trim edits. Now we also have extend edit, which is a little interesting. So say we have our clips, and we want to extend this clip to this playhead. If we press option Q, it will extend it to that playhead. If we're in front of it, for example, if we're over here and we press Option Q, nothing happens. But if we press Option W, the start of that clip is extended to the playhead. So again, it's just a keyboard shortcut. Instead of clicking and dragging, it might be a little bit faster for you. But really for me, it's the W and the Q keys for the ripple edits that make this workflow a lot faster. The other edit I liked and I added is this Add Edit or basically the Cut feature. So if I go and I'm playing, and if I press E, it's going to add a cut as many as I want. And that is the same thing as taking your razor blade tool, which you can click here, or if you press R on your keyboard, you can go in and select and make a cut. But I've added this to my keyboard shortcut. So to do that, go to your keyboard shortcuts, and then just type in add edit. 
and then you can just click and drag it and assign it to any of your keys. So for I put it on the E key, which might have been something else before, but that's the key that I found to be the mo one that I used most. So let's go to the default. So E is to extend selected edit to playhead, but I like having the add edit a little bit better. So if you type in add edit, you can literally just click and drag and drop this onto the keyboard that key that you want. It's going to replace it. Or if you hold the option key down or the shift key or the command key, which are sort of modifier keys, and you have an open key, you might want to add it there. So for example, if you want it to be option E or all E, just holding the option key down, I can drag this to the E key. And now it's there for the option E key. So I'm going to go back to my custom setup. So that's a quick way to make cuts, which, which I love. Now, say you've made a lot of cuts, a quick way to get to those cuts is just the up and down arrow keys. You don't have to kind of have to click and drag. You don't have to go one frame at a time. Just hitting up or down on your keyboard will jump to those cuts. Another way to quickly speed up your workflow is to duplicate with the option dragging option. So this is more applicable if you're quickly duplicating a title or a graphic, but we can do it with video clips too. If you just option, click and drag, then let go, it's going to duplicate this video. So if you click and drag to another layer, it's going to move it to that other layer, at least the video or whatever part you clicked first. So if I have this clip selected and then option click the audio and try to move it to another track, I can do that or with the video. Now, the other thing too with the option key is you can select just the audio or just the video to duplicate. So if I hold option first before this is selected and just pick the video, I can duplicate just the video or just the audio. The option key can also let you edit just the audio or video using just your mouse. So if you want to do just a basic edit by clicking and dragging the edge, but you want to do it just to the audio or video, just hold the option key and then click and drag just the video. This often is comes up a lot when you're editing videos that have B-roll music and all kinds of things where you want to have this sort of T-edit where the audio from one clip might start playing underneath another clip, something like this. But the video of the first clip continues to play over that second audio. Maybe this is an interview or something like that. And then the last thing is the slip tool. So there's lots of other tools actually in keyboard shortcuts out there that can improve your workflow. These are just the ones that I like using. So if I press Y on your keyboard, it's the same as going to the slip tool and then clicking within the video itself and dragging to the left or right. It basically slips the in and out points of this clip. So I can go in and find the perfect starting and ending point. So before, I added this clip and the beginning is out of focus. So just with my slip tool, I can click and drag and I'm dragging to the left to basically move the timeline to the left. And I want to go until it's good. I'm zoomed in, go to the part where I'm actually rotating this lens, something like this. So you can see the video on the left is the in point. The video on the right is the out point. And so now when I let go, the endpoint is right where I want it. And that speeds up a lot of time compared to like trying to make room on my timeline for extending this and then finding the right bit. The slip tool is much easier. So those are just a number of the keyboard shortcuts that I use. I know there's lots more out there that can speed up your workflow. I think one of my favorites is definitely the add edit sort of cut keyboard shortcut that you'll need to add and also the JKL. I mean, those playing at double speed is something that will save you hours over the long run as a video editor, maybe even days or weeks of your life. Let me know if you have any favorites down below in the comments, and I hope this helps you out. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.